माय नेम इज डॉक्टर के सी पटेल प्रोफेसर एंड चीफ सॉइल हेल्थ स्पेशलिस्ट आणंद एग्रीकल्चर सिटी एंड पारोल सिटी मिनिस्टर विकास मिश्रा बायोफिक्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एनवायरमेंटल सर्विस सूरत गुजरात और टुडे टॉपिक इज बायोगैस प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम हाई ह्यूमिडिटेड ग्रास Bhakar and Bram 2019 from India Rai Karnal India reported that Nepal grass or elephant grass is a widely distributed perennial grass grown in tropical and subtropical regions of Asia Africa southern Europe and America The hybrid nepal grass can be maintained as a productive fodder crop for 3 to 4 years that is it is perennial in the same field whereas the other forage crops are seasonal in nature and scarcity of fodder may occur during off season and also seasonal crop require repeated tillage operation hybrid nepal grass soils the soil require light soil and sandy soil prefer wet soil is prefer at the roots but uh, you need to make sure that it is not stagnated water condition is not favorable for that hill preparation it is a long duration crop and periodical tillage activities like other crop are not possible after the crop after the field generally 2 to 3 plowing followed by planting is required spacing and seed rate 100 by 50 or 50 by 50 gap filling the gap filling may be done after 20 days of planting regular hand weeding and hoeing and then seed doing manure apply farmyard manure at the rate of 25 metric ton per hectare apply npk fertilizer as per soil test value the basal dose 60 kg 50 kg and 40 kg k2 per hectare should be applied band prior to planting the crop may be fertilized 40 to 50 kg nitrogen after the each cut every year 50 and 40 kg should be applied to the hybrid nepal grass monitor the plant nutrient soil by taking representative soil sample from the stand standing grass field and carry out soil analysis and apply deficient or marginal yield as per soil test value planting it done with the onset of monsoon or any type pp irrigation facility is available being a sterile hybrid grass is planted by rootless leaf or by stem cutting cutting with two nodes from the middle portion of model mature stem 3 to 4 months after for the cutting are planted at a stagnant position stagnant position at one side of the ridge with one node buried in the soil so you can see here in its neck so propagation by stem cutting so here you can see two nodes so you can plant in 60 by 50 or 50 by 50 or 100 by 50 cm then you can see the crowding of the hybrid nepiers so at present the price of 100 stem cutting of super hybrid nepier is rupees 200 to 300 rupees so irrigation the first irrigation done at the time of planting and the life irrigation on the third day after planting frequency of subsequent irrigation depend upon rainfall and weather condition the standard irrigation interval during summer is 3 to 4 days harvesting first cut at 60 to 50, 65 days 60 days 60 to 65 days after planting and subsequent cuts are obtained at 25 to 30 days interval at least 6 to 8 cuts are you can taken for biogas purpose nepal grass should be harvested at an interval of 60 days that is 2 months yield in india is grain for yield 120 to 1 cent 170 ton per hectare per year the super hybrid nepal grass 300 to 400 tons per hectare if well managed the soil nutrient weeding irrigation and harvesting should be condition in the field so it depends upon the soil fertility we can obtain the grain for a yield of the hybrid nepal so hybrid nepier is a good energy source so nepier grass is a is especially high in potential dye material making it excellent choice for this purpose the grass has high digestible organic matter content is also an excellent fish crop for any vegetation nepier grass is one of the most promising grass available for large production in tropics and subtropics furthermore nepier grass is the latest energy crop being promoted by the government the ministry of energy department of land and the department and efficiency has run project promoting biogas production from nepal gas for the purpose of generating electricity cooking gas and biogas for vehicles 
Nephrography categorizes a lignose leaves biomass with its carbohydrate composition typically consisting of 35 to 39% cellulose and its 23% xylem and 15-19% lignin or on a diameter basis with an energy output to input ratio of approximately 25 to 1. It emerges as one of the most promising energy crop for the creation of cost effective and efficient bioenergy system. So, super Napier at NDDB Anand. So, I am residing at Anand. So, it is a 20 kilometer away of the NDDB farm. So, you can see the growth of the super hybrid Napier. The scientist in 2014 reported the Napier gas contained 30.9 percent total carbon, 27 percent protein. Liquid 14.8 percent, total as 18.2 percent, fiber 9.1 percent. Diameter basis, it is its organic composition are in ideal feedstock for biogas production. The fresh grass was harvested after five week plantation. Grounded in 0.5 to 1 mm diameter size before fermentation in mesophilic batch reactor with with varying solid concentration of 5 to 10 percent. So the optimum condition for the biogas production was found at 5% solid concentration, methane content yield and production rate were 53%, 124 methane, TVS remote 4.8 ml per hour at the optimum condition, economic analysis. Economic analysis of biogas obtained from the experiment with liquid petroleum gas with benefit for ratio is greater than one suggested that natural gas is considered as potential energy crop. How much biogas evolved from the super hybrid nephew gas has been tested in collaboration with the Biofits uh, Private Limited as a CBC plant installation company based in Surat, Gujarat, India. Myself, Dr. P.C. Patel, a former senior scientist at Anand Agriculture Institute in Gujarat and Mr. Vikas Mishra, Biofits Private Limited Surat, Gujarat, India, conducted pilot scale experiment to analyze hybrid nephew gas as feedstock for CBG production. So, result of biofix private limited surat Gujarat India. So, you can see here we can get uh, the 6 kg bio gas from 100 kg green powder of hybrid nephew grass. So, you can find methane 62.3 percent and using the uh, mechanical microbial treatment, whereas in chemical treatment of 1 percent sodium hydroxide solution error by 24 hours. We are getting 6.5 kg biogas from 100 kg green powder of hybrid nephew grass. The methane is 61.5 percent. So, here you can see. So, conclusion the experiment result indicated that it was discovered that with 24 hour microbial treatment, 100 kg of the green powder of super hybrid nephew yielded 6 kg of biogas. Which had 62.3 percent methyl content, alternatively, and the same feedstock underwent 24 hour pre treatment with 1 percent so sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is slightly higher yield of 6.5 kg of biogas with 61.5 percent methyl content was obtained. So, it is reported by Rahul Jain 2023 recently. So, that study conducted by the private Minnesota, Gujarat, India. So, from the both the study, we can conclude that the microbial treatment and chemical based treatment are required to obtain a higher yield of biomass, biogas from hybrid grass. The result of the investigation indicate that both provide comparatively similar yield and microbial treatment was more cost effective and easier than chemical fertilizers. Then chemical treatment. So, when we compare the both treatment, the result of the investigation that both provide comparatively similar yield and microbial treatment was more cost effective and easier than chemical treatment. So, we should have to use microbial treatment for the production of the biogas from hybrid nephew. So, contact person, myself, Dr. PC Patel, Chief Soil Health Specialist, email Patel PC12, gmail at the rate of gmail.com, mobile plus 91 9909022 resident Anand Gujarat. For installation of biogas generation plant from hybrid nephew grass, 
Equipment, Capacity and Technical Advice in Biogas, Mr. Vikas Misra, Director, Biosites Private Limited, Surat, Gujarat, India. His address is uh, Surat and mobile number plus 919879842. Mobile number plus nine one nine eight seven nine eight double four five seven six. So you can contact that address is so if you like my video biogas production from the highway nature, then please subscribe. Thank you very much.